This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you. Bwana Yesu Asifiwe. My name is Pastor Luke Moki, right here from JCC Bamburi CPC. And uh, I want to share a message called Come Back to Jesus. And this is a call to salvation. And I believe God is going to help you to receive Jesus today so that you can come back to Jesus once again. Uh, if you have a Bible, go to the book of Luke chapter 15 from verse 11. Luke 15 verse 11. The Bible says, Then he said, A certain man had two sons, the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided them his livelihood. And got many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to field swine. And he will gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to his senses, or to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servant, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this is my son who was dead and now he's alive. He was lost and now he's found. And they began to marry. I want to share a, a message on come back home to Jesus. What the Bible talks about the man who was very rich. And he had two sons. And these two sons, one of them told his father, give me a portion of my inheritance so that I may go and start to use it. And the Bible says one thing, that this man, he gave the son the inheritance, and the Bible says this son left his father's house, and he went to a very, very, very far country outside his father's premises. And the Bible says when he left his father, he went with the wealth, went, squandered his wealth, he wasted all his wealth with living a life of pleasure. He used it with women, used it with alcohol, until it reached a place where all the money that he had was wasted. When he had a lot of money, he had a lot of friends where he will go to party with. But when he lost all his wealth, people started to desert him. That is why the Bible says, Wealth brings many friends, but poverty can be able to chase people out of your life. And that is what happens to this man. When he had money, people were gathering next to him. He used all the money with them. He used it in pleasure, wasted all the money until he reached a place where he was bankrupt. He was poor. He didn't have any money. And he had to go to somebody who was taking care of a farm. And he had a, a farm of pigs. And the Bible says he went there and he started to serve that man. 
And while he was serving, he will even desire to just eat the food that the pigs were eating. And one time, the Bible says, he came back to his senses. He says, how many of my father's higher servants are eating better than me here? I will go back and I will tell my father, I have sinned against you and I've sinned against heaven. Please forgive me. Please take me back home. I, am, I have learned my lesson. I have learned that life out here without Jesus, it is a hard life. And the Bible says he went back home. He took a decision to go back home to where his father was. And the Bible says when his father saw him, he embraced him. He did a party for him. He, he cut the fatted calf that was there. And they did a party for this young man because the father was saying, this young man was dead, but now he's alive. This young man was lost, but now he is found. And he came back home. And when he came back home, the father embraced him. He took his position as a son and as a child of the father. And that is how Jesus and how our father, God Almighty is everywhere. No matter how far you have gone away from the kingdom of God, no matter how far you have gone from salvation, I came to tell you one thing. There is hope. There is hope you can return back to Jesus. Jesus loves you. Jesus still wants you. The father, when he saw the son, he never judged him. He told the son, come, I want to embrace you. I want you to be next to me. You have done a good thing by asking for forgiveness. I am ready and I am willing to take you back home. I want to speak to that person who has gone far away from salvation, who has gone far away from the things of God, who is far away from church. I want to tell you, come back home to Jesus Christ. Jesus still loves you. The church still loves you. We in the house of God, we still love you. And that's why we preach this gospel to you, because we love you and we want you back home. You may be a wanderer moving from here and there, not knowing what to do with this life. But I came to tell you today that Jesus loves you. Jesus has a good plan for you. He says he has a good plan for you, a plan to give you a hope and to give you a future. The plan of God is not to destroy you. The plan of God is to give you a hope and to give you a future. Return back home to your Jesus. Return back home to the house of God. If you left ministry, return back to God, to the place of your assignment, to the place of your ministry. Some of you are great preachers, but you are wandering here and there in sin, in living a life of pleasure. This young man loved pleasure. He wasted his money. He wasted his wealth. He wasted his inheritance by living. Maybe investors told him, please son, invest this money in this and this. He refused. He wanted to live a pleasure. Maybe there was a preacher like me or an evangelist who was preaching the gospel and telling him, hey, don't live in sin. Don't live Wasting your money with prostitutes, with sexual immorality, with partying, and with alcohol. But the young man never listened. But one day, when he came back to his senses, he said, I have done wrong things, but I am making up my mind. I want you to, who is watching me right now, and you have gone far away from home, far away from the things of God, far away from the church. I want to tell you, Come back to your senses. Come back to your senses. Think where you fell. The Bible says, remember your first love. Remember where you used to be. Remember how you used to recite things in Sunday school. Remember how you used to serve God when you were a youth. Remember those things and come back home. Jesus still loves you. The church still loves you. The men of God still love you. The pastor still loves you. The bishop still loves you. And Jesus still loves you. And your father, God Almighty, he still loves you. And he's telling you, come, come, my son, come, my child. I am looking for you so that you can be able to come back to this salvation. 
Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to redeem you. You may have lost many things. You may have lost wealth with prodigal living. Because one thing I understand, living in sin is expensive. Living in sin will cost you. Spending alcohol, it will cost you money. Uh, buying a uh, smoke, smoking cigarettes, it will cost you money. Going to bars, it will cost you money. Everything of sin, it is expensive. But Jesus Christ, everything in Christ, it is free of charge. To hear the gospel, it is free of charge. To receive salvation, it is free of charge. Why? Because the price was already paid. 2,000 years ago, Jesus hung on the cross and he died on that cross so that you and I can be able to be saved. And I want to tell you, child of God, it is your time to come back home. Come back home to your master. Come back home to your Jesus. He still wants you. He still has a good plan for you. He wants you to be transformed. He wants you to be changed. He wants to give you a hope and to give you a future. But let me tell you, you can only receive all these things if you make one decision of returning back to where Jesus is, to returning back home to the house of God, returning back home to the ministry that you used to serve. Some of you who are watching me, you used to be choir members. Some of you are watching me and you are in sin right now. You used to be Sunday school teachers. But what happened? Somebody uh, irritated you or somebody quasered you. And then you said from today, I don't want this Jesus. I want to tell you. People will do not take people to heaven. It is only Jesus who takes people to heaven. It doesn't matter what people have done to you. You can still return back to your ministry. You can still return back to the thing that God has ordained for your life. Don't focus on what people said about you. Don't focus on what people, uh, the way they irritated you until you left ministry. Don't leave now. Return back. The ministry position is still waiting for you. The microphone in the choir is still waiting for you. Soul winning is still waiting for you. Ushering is still waiting for you. Come back home. Come back to the position where you used to be in the house of God. And I want to lead you into that, 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 that prayer. Because when the young man came back home, to his father. The father embraced him. The father did a big party for him. He cut a, the father cut a long, he cut a fatted calf for him. And he created a party for him. And he told him one thing. I want you back and I'm going to embrace you. And from that moment henceforth, the child lived the life he was ordained to live. A life of a prince, a life of a king, a life enjoying the good things of this life. Why? Because he made only one decision, coming back home to Jesus Christ, coming back home to the Father. You are here, you are telling me, man of God, you are talking about me. I was once in church, I was once in the house of God, I was once serving God, but right now, I am far away from God, far away from ministry, far away from the things of the spirit. But today, I want to come back home to Jesus Christ. I want to give you that opportunity. Jesus is willing to embrace you. He's willing to receive you and to welcome you into this kingdom. You are here, you're telling me, man of God, I want to get born again. This ought to rededicate my life to Jesus Christ. I was once lost, but now I want to rededicate or to give my life to Jesus Christ, to receive this eternal life. I want you to pray this prayer because by confession, salvation enters. And when you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then you shall be saved. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I confess Jesus is Lord. And I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead because of my sins. Rub my name in the book of death and write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Today, 
I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Today, I have returned back home to my Father, God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me by your blood. For in Jesus' name, we do pray and believe in. Amen. God bless you eh, for making that decision of coming back home to your father and to the house of God. We are ready to embrace you. We are ready to, lead, to walk with you in this journey of salvation. If you have a church near you, a Bible-believing church that is uh, based in the word and believe in the ministry of the Holy Spirit, be there, be grounded, stay in that house and see what the Lord is going to do in your life. There will be a total transformation. So God bless you so much for staying tuned to this channel and watching and then receiving Jesus and dedicating your life back to Jesus Christ. God bless you. My name is Pastor Luke Moki from JCC Bamburi, and this is a call to salvation. God bless you, and stay tuned to JCC TV. This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you.